I'm joined now from Edinburgh by the Scottish Conservative leader and MSP Ruth Davidson. And with me here in Glasgow is the MSP Derek Mackay, the SNP chairman. Good evening to you both. Um, Derek Mackay, first of all, high watermark of the SNP. But the fact is that contrary to what that gentleman was saying in the film, you, you don't, there's no price you can exact from this. You are in opposition. David Cameron doesn't have to give you anything. Well, we are in opposition now, but with 56 out of 59 MPs in Scotland and over 50% of the vote. So surely if David Cameron's true to his word and the respect agenda, he'll show respect to the, the nation that is Scotland and how we've voted and we've come together in a, a prospectus, a manifesto of more powers for Scotland and an alternative to austerity. So we'll push very hard to have a very strong voice for Scotland. Uh, Ruth Davison, is this the end of unionism in Scotland? I don't believe so. I think we had a big, broad conversation last year. We had uh, a referendum. We were, you know, had our, our say. There was a, a clear decision in terms of staying part of the United Kingdom. And Nicola Sturgeon herself came into this election saying that this wasn't about independence. She said that the any MPs that she sent to Westminster were there to be constructive and not to wreck it. Now I raise concerns about the veracity of that, and I hope very much that I'm proved wrong and that she did mean that she well, wanted to work constructively because we've heard from the Prime Minister already today uh, that he will be, uh, has already spoken to the First Minister and, and there will be a, a genuine level of, of respect going forward uh, and that's what we want to well, see. Well, the National, the independent newspaper in Scotland goes, look out London, there's Nicola getting on the plane to London today. You spoke to David Cameron this morning. Mm. Uh, is, is there a new strategy? Will there be a new constitutional settlement? What did you talk about? Well, you know, David Cameron's not the Queen, but I still don't like to make private conversations public, if that's all right with you. But we did, of course, talk about the result in Scotland and what that means going forward. Now, we were very clear coming into this election that we would uh, honour more powers for Scotland. The bill's already been published. That will go through the Parliament. All of these new SNP MPs will be part of, of well, passing well, that bill. Well, well, let, well let's talk about uh, specifics here. Now, you heard Jeremy Hunt earlier in the programme, Derek Mackay, talking about full fiscal autonomy you would be responsible for taxation and expenditure. Is this what you want? You want full fiscal autonomy? Well, it wouldn't surprise you to, to know that, of course, the SNP still believes in independence. We want maximum devolution, maximum powers to Scotland. Yes, of course, but we've already had established that the, the, Nicola Sturgeon said this is not about independence as far as this goes. So right now you have a Tory majority government and it seems to be that you're going to be offered full fiscal autonomy, which means you're going to have to be responsible. Taxation and expenditure, getting the sums right... Do you want that? It, well, of course we want as much power to come to Scotland as Even possible. Even though it may mean austerity. Well, it wouldn't mean austerity because what we will do is we'll is vote for we will vote for a, a solution and, and a budget that's right for Scotland. And we've said in terms of full fiscal autonomy or full fiscal responsibility that we want uh, the maximum transfer of powers to Scotland, uh, but with that economic safety net of continuing with the Barnett formula until we achieve that transition. Well, but can I say one other thing? I've read, I think you've read quite a lot into what David Cameron said today. I think he said he'll deliver on so, the vow and not much Let's just say uh, two things. First of all, Ruth Davidson, how quickly mm. do you think David Cameron is going to de deliver fiscal autonomy? And the safety net of the Barnett formula, is that acceptable or well, not? Well, well, first of all, I, I didn't hear Jeremy Hunt on your programme, but I think that you may be reading quite a long, uh, a lot into this. I don't think no, no, can I just, in, in I'm any sorry way you didn't fiscal hear that. autonomy is, is, is in any way a given. We have pledged to institute the Smith Commission. The legislation for that is well, already can I just published say sorry, and it will Ruth, go through in the first Queen's speech. Ruth, Ruth, sorry, cause I'm sorry you didn't hear that. And I, but actually what happened was Jeremy Hunt was interviewed by Evan Davis and, he, and Jeremy Hunt said, yes, full fiscal autonomy is will, what, will be what is on offer. Well, I, I think what he possibly meant was uh, <laughs> transfer of income tax. But oh, I, mean, I, yeah. I think it was, it was good of you to put Derek on the spot there because we in Scotland have had if a he conversation said he was going, about Sorry, can I just clarify? He's going no, no, in the direction no, 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 of fiscal there's... autonomy. He's going in the direction of fiscal autonomy. Well, th that's quite a different thing from delivering wholesale mm. full fiscal autonomy you, you in see, the I direction of is, is, is you know, real... full income tax. But the issue for Derek is, you know, we've heard all through this campaign in Scotland, and I realise that your viewers down south won't mm. have, that despite the fact the SNP said that they wanted to have Independence Day in March of next year, they've actually, now they've seen the oil price crash, said we want full fiscal autonomy, God grant us full fiscal autonomy, not, just not yet. But, but, not because you don't want, six because years. you want the oil price yeah, to be there's going to be an eight, an eight but, billion but, pound but black hole in Scotland's finances. I think we've got a clear mandate in Scotland 
the Conservatives unfortunately have got a clear mandate in England, but they now appear to be totally lost as to what they want to do for well, Scotland. The Prime Minister said he'll deliver the vow, the Smith Commission. Exactly, Ruth Davidson previously said, to. a line in the sand, these powers are no mm. more. Jeremy Hunt and others oh. have said, mm. there's more to come and they'll respect mm. the but, wish of the well, well, people well, of Scotland. Let me give another flashpoint. Let me just give another flashpoint. Well, let's roll this back a second. Oh, I know you're you in know, reverse gear, Ruth. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, we went into uh, the whole situation coming up to the referendum with a, a plan called the Strathclyde Commission, on which the Smith Commission is largely based, but it had all of the other parties in Scotland sign up to it too. Yes, but that the, is the, what the, we said that we would deliver. The, That's the, what the, we said yeah, going into wait, the wait, referendum. Just hang on. That's what we've said coming out of it. What? That's what we've said in government. Right. That's what the Prime Minister said on the steps of Downing Street this morning. The legislation is already published. This is a deal that was signed up to by the Finance right. Minister let's of move, the SNP let's, in Very briefly, we have very little you time. Know, I want to move on John with Swinney. one very fine, fine, fine point. We're going to be heading towards uh, an EU referendum. Uh, if Scotland votes, and of course there isn't a separation, though Nicola Sturgeon said we should count this country by country. Yeah. If Scotland votes yes to stay in the Europe and England votes no, is that another reason that you would go ahead and push for another referendum on Scottish independence day at Mackay? Well, Nicola Sturgeon's given the circumstances in which we could hold another referendum, but it would require the will of the people of Scotland to support that and, of course, be in a manifesto and, of course, have the triple lock of a, of a yes vote as well. But surely the Tories will have the sense to recognise the family of nations that now make up the UK uh, and not be so reckless and to pull Scotland out of Europe if we vote to stay in. Thank you both very much indeed.